Hey everybody, Ryan here, better known as Overkill on everything else, and welcome back to our Langobard Attila, or Total War Attila campaign. Last you saw me was, uh, we just finished sacking Argent, Argentoratum, whatever, what the fuck, whatever, it's a Roman town, sacked it, got a little bit of money, uh, I put that money towards building some buildings and yeah <laughs> that's that's pretty much the gist of it um, got some stuff researching and all that uh, any really anything we can do no okay um, my plan of a my plan of action is to wait in my friend the uh, the Alamans lands and push down and uh, loot this city as well before going back home so uh, yeah, next turn we'll move into uh, this province and build up our forces again and we'll go in. Actually, I'm just going to move right here in my own land so that I can re I can top up this army. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into this. So I just bought the uh, the Celt DLC. I'm really excited um, to play one as one of those sometime. Uh, pretty much, all, I think every single one of their units can start like in the white square instead of in your normal deployment zone. So you can literally start like right in front of the the enemy if you want. Really useful, especially if enemies are using a lot of uh, ranged. Oh, okay. Here's the results from this. Um, my general lost the fight, but there is public order everywhere. Good. Actually, public order is low here. The hell is this crap? I don't have enough money to build anything. Public order is good here. Well, we'll just have to deal with that as it goes. Uh, can I get into my province? No, not yet. Well, I'm just gonna... Oh, wow, I don't want to go that way. way. Crap. We cannot do that. Oh, that's the only way I can get. Okay, well. Oh, well, we'll just replenish here. <coughs> Getting a pretty good uh, amount of men per turn, so whatever. Oh, Gerhardt leveled up. No, that's not gonna hurt. Uh, there he is. So he's a governor. So I'll get some food. Um, let's see. Let's get some morale. Perfect. Um. So yeah, again, not much really for this turn other than uh, now we're just going to wait and replenish these guys. And then we're going to go raid this this settlement down here. L uh, Luvav. Okay, interesting name. But um, yeah, like I was saying before, uh, really want to try a Celtic campaign, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do, um, I'll do something else. Have spoken, and they have named you as true friends. Jukes. Do we dare ignore the other world? I mean, they're offering to pay me money. Like, might as well. Perfect. More friends. The Western Romans are up to no good. I humbly ask that my people's warriors may come and go in your land. Yeah, sure. All oh, people are paying me stuff. Great. It's perfect. Okay. We're slowly replenishing our units here. Um, just a few, few turns, and everybody will be good to go again. Place is still losing public order. Come, 
fight for us, lads. Let's hire a unit or something. Whatever. What this place needs is some new buildings that actually improve people's uh, feelings or improves the public order. Oh. For the tribe. Is it this guy? No. Governor of this place leveled up. What do you know? Hey, give me more money. Perfect. Yeah, we have a pretty good income. Per turn now. Might as well move these guys closer Starting to the border, out. or move them on the border rather. So now within a turn we could probably, yeah, within a turn we'll be able to go down the there. Move, Perfect. And we'll go through another turn because I still have anything to do. <laughs> yeah, now that I own the. The Celtic DLC, they've been added to the front of the the faction wheel, I guess. I think after this, after this, um, when this following turn goes, we'll uh, we'll go attack that place. If we can reach it in one turn, we should be able to. Oh, okay. A mission. Construct a building from the following chain religion. Plus 10 Germanic paganism. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll definitely want to try to do that. Oh, the Romans are building an army here. Interesting. Well, let's proceed with caution. Going down here. Yeah, there's nothing here. Let's just go attack. Perfect. Let's just go get them. So what do they have? Yeah, we'll we'll take them down no problem. It's only four units. <coughs> Is this really going to be the exact same town as the last one? Oh. Yeah, not used to sieges in Attila, so I see they haven't uh, fixed the whole zero map diversity thing from Rome 2. Oh well. I still like the maps. They're nice. Let's see how fast we can wrap this up. Also, we're in 399, I just noticed. Only a few more turns and we'll hit the, the first... We'll finish the first objective. Excited. Here we go. Let's not get fog and rain this time. Please. Please. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. But yeah, so basically, if I was to play as the Celts, my entire army would be able to start right here, instead of just these two units. Oh, this time I think I'm going to attack from this point. I'm just going to take this tower really early. I'm not going to line them up in any specific order. guys to just straight up turn charge one of them will charge the other will go there yeah they're not even bothering they're just running away perfect oh no they're not oh skirmishers get away oh, they just barely got him Screwed now. Just get rid of them. Yeah, they're broken already. 
breaking them really quickly. Oh, well, obviously I didn't expect these guys to put up a big fight, but, you know. See if we can get all of them. Go get them. Yeah, I think we got this. They're definitely not getting away. Throw these guys out the lever. Come on, get them. Only two left. the way up there. No, he can't get away. I'm gonna lose men because of this tower because I want to get this last guy. <laughs> He's not allowed to survive. Too bad. I'm gaining on him. And get him. It's just one guy. Oh, we're right on him. There we go. Woo. Perfect. Now we get to loot this place. Not that it will have a lot of money, probably, but oh well. It's more money for us and less for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we won't. We won't even really get that much. For the drive. Oh well, we'll sack it anyway. For and then um, let's Damn you all. run back. <laughs> run back Not to our friends. Possible. Shelter. Okay. Well, it got us a little bit of extra money at least. Now, is there anywhere that improves public order here? No. Literally everything lowers. Great. Okay, well that puts it out, but <coughs> takes food. What was the objective? I needed to just build. Build a sacred forest. Is that is that what I can build here? Thirsty what the hell is a sacred forest? Whatever. Hmm. No, I think I'll just save my money, to be honest. Don't worry, Augusta. Whatever. I'll be back for you. For, the drive. for now. 
these guys are going home. Okay, now we have this plus one public order. Good. Uh, we'll start getting some military upgrades. Why not? Okay. So only like two more turns and it'll be 400. Let's see if we can get to that before the end of this video. <coughs> yeah, I hope to get to the point where um, I can raise a second big army. Like I can fill out uh, this army here and send them down to the Romans as well. That's what I, that's what I want to do. But apparently the public order here is horrible. And I'm not really sure why. <coughs> but, oh well. Mission succeeded. Oh, okay. Apparently I already did. Perfect. We found a large hoard of gold hidden in a cave whilst mining. What should we do with it? Engage in faction politics, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, we found a large hoard. Yep. Ignore the issue. Give it to the people. Give it to the army. Yeah, let's do that. I can I can hold my own with money right now. Starting out. Okay, let's just march back home. Ready for further orders. Only a few turns away. Ready for orders. Thirsty for battle. Ready for orders. Let's see. Ready for orders. What is this place's problem? Seriously. Immigrants. Religious differences. Well, I'm doing the best I can, guys. Hmm. I'm definitely not taking them off taxing. I'll tell you that. Political situation. Hmm. Well... make it then we got uh, we got quite a bit of food and we could always make more yeah Thirsty for battle. okay yeah these guys are gonna start recruiting or uh, replenishing really fast now oh the Franks are moving down that's good yeah I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna try to take two armies down here and I'm gonna take these lands, I think. And, uh, it's a long journey to the boot of Italy. But, I think we can make it. Sorry about that, one of my friends came in. Uh, anyway, let's continue on. I think, um, after we finish the whatever we're gonna do with this turn, I think I'm gonna end it here. Because we are approaching 20 minutes. And uh, anything over 20 minutes takes a very long time to render and upload, so. Yeah. I humbly ask that my people's what are these guys? Throwing hands? Want, yeah, whatever, sure. Okay. Oh. The Romans are doing something. What the hell does this guy want? An unscrupulous rival has spread foul rumors about a member of your family. Give the order and they will be silenced. Again, I can. Uh, whatever. Hidden treasure. Public order plus 5 and plus 5% wealth. Perfect. Okay, so is this place actually going to be happy? No. What the hell? Well, I'll there recruit no the unit. <laughs> And, to be honest, I don't even need to bring these guys back up. I can just bring this army down here and start recruiting stuff. Yeah, let's just start recruiting. Okay. Lots of food now. Holy crap. Perfect. But um, anyway, that's all I'm going to do for uh, this turn and thus ending this episode. Hopefully in the next one we'll be able to build these two armies up and come down and uh, take Augusta 
Vindela Vindelicorum and uh, expand our empire and slowly make our way down into Italy because that's what that is what I plan on doing. Uh, hopefully, other factions don't start raising shit everywhere, but um, we can only hope. But anyway, this has been Ryan. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.